take a nice deep breath in. Hold. Ooh. And release. Criminal reform and defunding the police. How do you feel about that? Ask yourself, how do you feel about that? Criminal reform and defunding the police. I'll tell you how I feel. I cannot believe we are in 2021 and doing the same thing we've been doing for how long now? How long have we been putting people in jail? Give somebody incentive. Punish, I believe somebody should be punished. But what I, jail, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Jail is cruel and unusual, and to put solid and to put somebody into solitary confinement is just disgusting. That's what they're doing right now, brother, sister. If you don't know what's going on, people that are being put into jail right now, they're going right into. It just makes me sick. Uh, solitary confinement. And if you don't know what it's like to be in a cold room for even 24 hours, which has happened to me, it's disgusting. The way we treat people, I can't believe, like, America, like, come on, dude. This has been going on for so long. So long. And it disgusts me. It makes me sick to my stomach. I see so many hurt people hurting, especially when you come out of jail. People come out of jail with a vengeance, man. They want to hurt somebody. And we wonder why we ha we live in this sick society. When is this ever, like, when is change going to happen? You know, I think to myself, how the fuck? Who, in first of all, who invented these rules? When somebody needs re rehabil rehabilitation, especially if they're mentally uh, out of character, you're going to put them in solitary confinement. I just found out somebody I know and love very much. Family. Again, if you don't know the time, believe in yourself. You know, I found out that she, when she goes, and this makes me want to cry, man. She's allowed out for like 30 minutes a day and to make a phone call and take a shower. Other than that, she's in a cell all alone. That's fucking disgusting, man. That is fucking disgusting. It makes me ashamed, man. It makes me ashamed of politics. It makes me ashamed sometimes to be an American. Why is this still going on after so long? How, why are we treating each other like this? Nobody des deserves to be in jail, man. I don't care even if... Listen, I don't care if you murdered somebody. I don't believe anybody deserves to be in jail. It's not right. It's inhumane. And we're in the year 2020, 2021. Man, fuck that shit. That shit's wrong. And you know what? Y'all need to wake up to criminal reform and defunding, I wouldn't say defunding the police might not be the greatest idea, but the police are here to one, protect, two, serve. Protect and serve. Police are not here to start fights with people. And I understand a lot of times they're just doing their job, but it's disgusting. There needs to be change, and I don't see it happening. And it breaks my heart for this country and the people that have to go to jail and get recycled in and out of jail. I mean, what's gone wrong? It's 2021, and there's nothing being done about this shit. And that, that's what irks me. That's what really infuriates me, that we are in 2021, and nothing is being done. Not a god, not, not one thing is being done. 
to help these people in need. These people are in need. A lot of times, these are mentally ill people that are in need of help. Nobody's helping them. You putting them in jail? You think putting anybody in jail is helping anybody? Get the fuck out of here, man. That's crazy talk. With that said, I want to give my thanks and praise to God. To God. I want to give my thanks and praises to the universe. Peace be with you, also with you.